Hello everybody, John Gregory here with Theme Park Tribune bringing you this time a Universal Studios Hollywood area hotel room tour and review as we look out over the hills of Los Angeles from Universal City. This is one of two resorts that you could call them on site for Universal Hollywood. Um, they are within walking distance of the park. This is Universal Property, Universal City. And I stayed here one night through a Priceline Express deal, meaning I didn't necessarily know exactly which hotel I would get. You can always check review numbers and just kind of uh, the regular rates for these kind of rooms and figure out pretty closely which one it's going to be. But I paid $150 a night before taxes and fees, $185 after, so some significant fees added on. Uh, and let me uh, give you a tour of the room and let you know what I thought. So starting off here in the entryway, you've got your basic closet here. A lot of backlighting on this area, which I do like and kind of fits in with the modern motif of this room with the softer lighting, but keeping some plush touches because it has carpet. Love that. Over here, you have the coffee maker. There is no Starbucks in the hotel. If you see people with Starbucks cups in hand, it's probably because they got this from the room. Uh, a few storage drawers. This one has your Starbucks coffee, the mini fridge, more storage under here, your ice bucket. The room came with two complimentary waters. As you can see, I've used one already. Uh, very nice touch on that. Do like when there's complimentary waters involved. The air conditioning and the thermostat, I should say, is right over here. It's mostly going to be air conditioning here in Southern California. Um, it takes a while to get going. Uh, you'll hear it coming out of here, and it just, when they place an air conditioner up that high, it's just going to take a while to filter into the room because there's no, like, vent over here closer to the bed or anything getting it out. So just be aware of that. Your air conditioning will take a while to filter around the room and you might need to put it pretty low. Uh, heading into the bathroom, this is where I had some problems with this room. Um, nothing wrong with the sink and the mirror necessarily. I've had nicer ones than this where it's really big backlit vanity and really large. This is a kind of strange choice for an up and down mirror, but they do give you the really deep into your pores mirror over here. Some shelves for a reason <laughs> and everything but no this is fine it's a fine sink it's got a decent amount of space on the sides the sink kind of takes up too much room by being a pie but you know that's kind of the touch they have again modern touches with this sort of sink the the problem i had was over here the shower um it might look nice but that thing had pretty crappy water pressure it just kind of dribbles out um and then the really weird thing is, we'll go into the shower, as you can see, it's been recently used. Uh, this, why would I want to stand on a grill while I shower? Like, you can see in here, there are grooves in between um, each of these, like a kind of a slat sort of thing. It's like, it's like they made a futon into a shower and it's not, terrible but it, it makes it less comfortable after a while or just you don't want to take a super long shower because it's like hmm that's not really super comfortable on my feet because I am not a waffle sir uh it's it's a strange design choice that kind of wrecks what is what should be a good feature of this of this hotel room and this hotel is having a pretty modern steamed up shower it did steam up nicely uh but water pressure kind of bad. The hose water pressure was out of that fine. It was the shower head that they just kind of dribbled down. And then, you know, standing on the grill here. Um, strange choices, just gonna say that. <laughs> Heading into the main room, now that I'm done harping on the bathroom, you have kind of a couch area built into the TV stand here, which is kind of nice. Uh, backlighting, which is strangely controlled with a light switch over there. 
Um, in case you're wondering, and you're staying here and you're wondering why the room kind of dark, you can you know, add that as like a little bit of soft light. Um, and actually, haven't even turned on that one. And it didn't work. Hmm. <laughs> you know, you learn some new things while doing the hotel room tour. Uh, yeah, so a nice little couch area here just for, like, sitting. I, I guess it's just a change of pace. I mean, it's nice that they're doing something a little bit more with this space. It's a little bit different than doing it with a dresser. Um, but if you want to, if you're the kind of person to put away your clothes while you're on vacation, you might be kind of upset that that's what they chose to do with this space rather than a traditional dresser, which might make more sense to some people. Uh, you have a rather large desk area. I think it's just because this hotel is catering more to working people who, who need to work while they're in hotel rooms that they eschew the dresser for a larger workspace. Um, you know, nice chair, big table, um, kind of sharing some space with the end table over here. And then you have some nice touches of like artwork of universal history and filmmaking in general, like this Back to the Future picture, these old pictures of Universal back, I'm assuming, back in the, you know, the 1910s, 1920s, when, when the studio was just first getting started over here and <laughs> took up residence here at, at what is now Universal City. Um, then the bed, uh, pretty comfortable. The, and this is a king bed in case you couldn't tell, Pretty comfortable bed, pretty bad pillows. Like, hotel pillows just do this. It's, you just sink immediately to the bottom. It's not, uh, it's not great. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty common, so if you stay in enough hotels, you're probably used to that sort of thing. Um, over here we have some strange USB setups for people who are big on having their USB plugs all around. Um, not much over here by the workspace in this section. Nothing over on this side of the bed. They're actually hidden over here. You probably can't see them very well, but they're down here below the reading light. Uh, I didn't find that until about 20 minutes ago. So <laughs> don't feel bad if you don't find it quickly either. But now uh, your mistake can be corrected before it even happens. Thanks to me. Um, the other side of the bed, they're a lot more apparent. Uh, there's both, they're both in the alarm clock and kind of in the wall. So they took both the easy and the, um, harder solution to the, how do you like retrofit USBs into an, a newer or an older hotel room, you put them there. So that's pretty much the room tour. And then it, it was just the one exception of going back to this window and just getting a miraculous view of everything of of the highway and the hills and looking down into the pool area. The other Universal Hotel, the Hilton, is right next door. Um, pretty spectacular view. It might even be better if you were looking into Universal um, over to the side. So, thoughts on this hotel. Uh, having something that's within walking distance of Universal Hollywood is really great. I would especially say it's great if you're coming here for Halloween Horror Nights and you're trying to do the park during the day and then horror nights, being able to come back this quickly, take advantage of their free shuttle. It's within walking distance, but you got to do a pretty, uh, you know, pretty sizable uphill climb, even if it's like 10 minutes of a walk. So that can tire you out pretty quickly. So keep that in mind. Maybe wait a few more minutes for the shuttle. Uh, but those are great perks and ones that, frankly, I don't think we hear enough about in the theme park community that you can even have this option at Universal Hollywood. Granted, Universal Hollywood during the day without Horror Nights is really a one-day experience, probably not even a full day if you really know how to tour correctly. So maybe not a lot of people trying to hop on the let's stay at Universal on site, but really good option. The room itself, a few different flaws with the pillows and then that shower grill situation. I don't know why it's like that. I wish they would change it because otherwise I thought the room was really doing well for what I would want it to do. Not wanting to put my clothes away, liking to have a, a close by space to Universal Hollywood that's very comfortable and I got a good night's sleep in. It worked out well for that one. If you could get this at a good price, like, I think under $200 a night, it's worth it. 
over that, you're kind of pushing it with how long you'd want to stay here anyway, but maybe you have a different calculus um, because, I don't know, you're not going to spend three days, probably not even two, at Universal Hollywood. If you want something for your Universal Hollywood day, this is a great option. Great option for that. So keep that in mind for your next Universal Hollywood trip, and uh, I'll see you with some more hotel reviews very soon, I'm sure.